Hey, this is Tyler, Theater Design Company. Happy Saturday. So today we're gonna do an unboxing video, which we haven't done for a while. This one's gonna be on the SVS 3000 in-wall subwoofer. Should be one of the first or second uh, unboxings of this on YouTube, so that's kinda cool. And what we've got here is a giant box. I'll go ahead and measure it out um, just so you can see what you're expecting. But this box is literally three feet long. 20 inches, 21 inches wide, and about 10 inches tall. So it's not a little box. It's relatively heavy. Um, I was able to haul it down here by myself, but probably recommend two people. And so what you kind of got in the box here is in-wall sub, magnetic grill, banana plugs, cutout template, installation guide, of course the amp, power cord. One thing to note is this amp can run two of these in-wall systems. They sell it as a single and a dual subwoofer kit. And the second subwoofer kit, when you do that, you use the same amp. So the pricing isn't nearly as much as you would think. And we're gonna rack mount this amplifier over here. So we just did a video on the rack mounting and how Xbox and everything else gets in with the A-faces. This will come with rack mount ears. So we're gonna set it right in this area and uh, we'll put a vent below it and it should look pretty nice in the rack. So I'll get to unboxing this thing and we'll go from there. Get this sucker open. So, template, so as you can tell, this thing's not small. And I'm just gonna go ahead and measure it out right now because it's actually even bigger than I thought and I saw it at the trade show. So assuming that their template is correct, 26 and 5 eighths by 13 and 7 eighths. And so what it's actually telling us here is that the cutout dimensions are 12.2 by 25.2. That's going to be that line there. And so it's a little bit of a tricky template to cut out, actually, because you have to work your way into it. So I'll investigate that a little bit more. Typical SVS manuals, but does have an installation guide. There you can see the massive grill. The good thing is we're going to put this in our theater so we won't need this grill. And it is concave. So my guess is you're going to have this on a front wall of a dedicated room where you don't want floor subs. Or you're going to have it behind a couch or on a side wall where no one's going to see it. It's definitely paintable. I can tell you that right now. We've got some videos on how to paint grills on our YouTube channel. So that's pretty neat. And so amps right here, subwoofers right here. Subwoofers definitely got some weight to it. See how the magnet are there for the grill. Got some there's your binding post. This has got typical installation wings like most in ceiling speakers. So it's like you have to pull them down a little. So they don't just pop out. So definitely one we're gonna to wanna to look at the installation guide on how this works. So this is different than most in, uh, wall and in ceiling subs I've ever done. So, but it, it looks like as you tighten these, it pops down. So we'll give that a try real quick just to see what we got.
So it looks like when you start to turn these, it gets to a certain point here and it pops out. Then that would lock into your drywall right there where my pinky's at. So not a bad design at all. And it pops back in, set it back to where it's at. So three clamps on each side. Subble for there. I'm not going to unbox the grill for now. But you can see it's got a pretty clean look to it. And it does have that concave, just so you guys know. So our plan on this, just so you guys know also, is this is going to go in our rear right wall of our theater room. We have allocated subs for actually both rear walls. So we're gonna start with this first one, see if it adds any element to our theater. Um, we can also turn the front subs off so we can demo this for customers using our Atmos speakers in these. Give a nice little two channel or, or four speaker as if it was a living room. So that's kind of a neat feature. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set this stuff to the side and uh, unbox the amp or unpackage the amplifier. Okay, so got the amplifier out of the box. I've got the grill and the subwoofer back in the box just to protect it. And I'm actually gonna show you how cool SVS is um, when I'm done with this too. Because they've actually had the foam and everything contour, contour cut around that grill, which is pretty cool. So again, they got the little silica rice in there to protect it. So super nice looking amp actually. So SVS, be interested if this lights up. I don't know if it does. Obviously, that's going to light up. These would be the same functions on the back of like your SVS subwoofer amps. So when you actually you click the, click low pass and then you go up and down, click volume, go up and down to get your level. Same with the phase, and then your auto on or auto off. So that's the same exact as one of their plate amps on the back of like their SB1000, for example, and then power cord. So that's neat. And then came with. Rack mount ears and screws. I'm not gonna do a video on mounting those, but I'll show the final product inside the rack. Uh, power it up so you can see what it looks like. And then power cord, obviously. So I'm gonna set those to the side here. Get this thing rack mounted up. And then I'll do a little bit of a video on this one last thing on the sub, and I'll show you where the sub's gonna go in our demo room. And then you'll have to watch another video to uh, get my take on actually how it sounds. Okay, I wanted to show you how good SVS is on their packing. So, sub amp was there. You can see how that's concaved. That actually matches the concave of the grill. And in turn, that piece on the bottom is concaved with release for the subwoofers so the subwoofers don't get damaged. So, and then again, an additional piece. And then that thing's packed in the side of the little softer styrofoam. So. Extremely good packing. Amplifier was packed in on this corner. It was light enough and good, so no issue there. All right, so we've done our kind of our unboxing video. One thing we didn't note, it does come with some SVS banana plugs. Came with a power cord, which we used. And so, shoot over here. So you basically got your grill. Again, it's concave, so it comes out about an inch and a half. Got your SVS subs. So, dual sub in wall back boxed so it's not a free air type system it's fully back box sub and then you got your SVS amp so I've got that rack mounted in there it's got power super nice display and then our functions are exactly the same as any other SVS sub that you've maybe seen in the past or you already own so super nice little package stay tuned we'll get this thing uh, mounted in the wall and uh, just a quick hop into there we're actually going to mount that subwoofer right in this wall at this height. So below we're all soundproofed. Up here we're soundproof, but we have a void. That same void is where our side speaker is at. We're going to put a subwoofer here, and then we may end up putting another subwoofer behind the door if we need it. And what that's going to allow us to do on the audio control is front and rear subs, a little bit of additional fine tuning. Thanks a lot. Hope you liked the video.